Ruth here, and I finally have the July Pokey Block. They were back ordered, um, they were late in getting the uh, items for this box. So, as you see, it says Pokey Block, Mystery Pokey Block of Awesomeness. So, it's a good, like, sturdy box here with, like, an open tab. So, as you see, I took off my dress. Just to confirm, it was the July one. So, then it has that tissue paper. So, okay. This is the uh, Pokeblox X, Y, and Z. As you see, uh, you can um, buy LME Gaming. So, if you want to visit that, it's LMEGaming.com. As you see there, and also for the actual subs newer subscription website, it would be pokeblock.co.uk. So, hope and share, enjoy. Then the August one, which I already bought, which will be shipped out, which I got the message saying that it'd ship out after they ship this, so it should be coming soon. So, summertime will be that theme for this month, or this past month from two days ago. So on the inside, I won't show you, but they have what's in it. So, first off, we'll go for, oh, a green gel pen. Okay, that's, that's I'm guessing, from the looks of it, this will go with this huge thing here. So, got the gel pen. So this is the... But well, it says... Pocket Monsters X, Y, and Z. So, it's got Magirna and... Uh, Volcanion on the back. The actual cover has like a holographic shine to it, which is cool. So this is like a, uh, the uh, movie promotional product, it seems. And this is a notebook. So blank pages. So blank, not wide. So it's, I guess you could use it like as a sketch pad too if you wanted to. It says on the little info card here, Take notes about all your favorite Pokemon in this fantastic notepad featuring artwork from the latest movie. Licensed product imported from Japan. So that's why it says Pocket Monsters, because that's basically what Pokemon means. Pokemon is just like an abbreviation like thing. But that's what it is in Japanese. So that's like the, uh, the movie title. But yeah, that was pretty cool. I really like how they didn't made it like a holographic shine to the notebook. So that's the notebook, so I'm guessing that the gel pen goes along with that. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually say or show a gel pen in the thing, so. Next, we'll go for these. These are, enjoy these cola flavored Pokemon soft shoes imported from Japan. So soft shoes. Okay. Well, this expires in May 2017. It's got a little tab here to open it. No idea what that is. Are these cola flavored? As it says. So let's might as well try one out. I don't want to rip the packaging because it looks so cool. Let's try it this way. Or at the ends, like a probably smart person would open this thing. Ah, uh, chew. Is it supposed to be chewing gum then? By the look of it, let's get one out. And it looks like chewing gum anyway. Oh, that's kind of cool. No idea what this is supposed to be. 
It has number one and number two on it. Of course it's Mega Swampert and Dedenne. I wonder what the other ones have on it actually. They look like they might be different. Looks like they're all different actually. So let's just take them all out. <laughs> Let's see what it is. Hmm, this one's got a, is it a Mega Salamence? Is it? And that one? No, this one has a, like a proper glossy feel to this proper Mega Sharpedo, I think. Not very good on some of these Pokemon names because I don't really use a lot of them. Hmm. It's got the Mega Salamence and the uh, Zygarde on that one. And on this one, it's got Talonflame. Are you supposed to collect these or something? So we've got number 83 and number 96. No idea what this one is. For, but it's got stars on it. I'll still, I'll still stick them in the book or something. Isn't that very strange. But I'm guessing that's what these are. Though I can't read Japanese. So if you know what they, what this actually says. By all means, put it in the comments below, because I have no idea. <laughs> Seems pretty cool. But anyway, so let's put four of these back in. And so where else to put them, actually. Da -da -da. Of course, I'll also flatten this out and stick this next to these things so I know where they came from in my book. So let's see. Ooh. Huh. Look at that texture. It kind of looks like a those gingerbread or graham cracker textures. Anyway, so I thought I was just put it on a lot. Well, they're kind of hard. <clears throat> By the look of it, I'm guessing it's chewing gum. If the flavor dies down, I know it's chewing gum then, but... I don't want to accidentally swallow that. Because <laughs> that would not be pleasant in the least. Nope. Wait. No. This is not chewing gum. <clears throat> Soft chews. Hmm. What's another name for those? The only thing I can come up with is like chew it, sir. Chewits or Starburst or something like that. Well, oh. I don't have anything to spit out actually. I kind of like all just dissolve on my teeth. Or in my teeth. Oh. Well, I'll still be tasting those for a while. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Oh. That was actually pretty good. I like the strong cola flavor when you first eat it. Put it in your mouth anyway. I still taste it actually. Wow. Okay, so next thing. Because I have no idea what this is. 
I seriously have no idea what this is. Doesn't help looking at the back, can't read a thing. What is it? Fun Japanese item containing one random card from the latest set and two Pokeball shaped gummy sweets. Ooh, more food. Lovely. Not that I really need any more, because, yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's get this open. How do I open this without completely wrecking the packaging? I really like the sweets in this thing. Oh, yeah, it'd be Japanese cards, wouldn't it? Well, that's cool. I don't have very many Japanese cards. Ooh. Okay, so it contains one card. I'll show you in a second what it is, even though I'm not looking at it. So these are the two gummy sweets, and they're shaped as Pokeballs. Oh, whoops, phone's going. Oh, huh? appears someone answered the phone. Okay, so this should be interesting. Two Pokeball shaped gummy sweets. I wonder what these taste like. Oh, it's so sticky. Okay, how do I get it out? Just pop it out. Oh, it looks like a like see-through and so sticky. Mmm. 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 Oh, this is mm, slippery. <clears throat> the slides down the throat. <clears throat> um, kind of like a strawberry flavor, possibly. I don't know. Well, I'll save this one for later. It is very good. So I guess since it is plastic um, thingy, I can easily like um, save this little tray and make. My own gummies, if I wanted to, I guess. Or I could make little chocolate Pokeballs. <laughs> and stick them in the fridge. Make little. I could do that, actually. That's a good idea. A little. It's own little mini tray mold. That's that's actually a pretty good idea, really. Well, that's really neat. Okay, so put that off to the side. You remember, I actually opened it. So I don't. Leave it too long so it doesn't get dry or anything. But next, the card, the Japanese card. What's it gonna be? Awesome! Uh, uh, Exernius Break. And I don't actually have it in English, so that's pretty nice. My card is really shiny with the disco effect on the back. In Japanese, I can't read a thing, but it's still awesome. <laughs> Great. Now, for the last thing in this box, it is the artwork of this one, and it is a pack. This month we have a Bakunetsu no Toshi, which is one of the latest sets to be released in Japan. It's the Japanese version. So. What's it gonna be? I can't really remember how these packs work. There's five cards in a pack. Just snip this. <clears throat> and what's it gonna be? So we've got an A palm. I don't know if there's actually a card. A card thingy. So I'll just thing. But the last card in this thing was one of those the uh, advert cards or info cards things. So like shows what it is in a a Japanese can't read a thing. But by the pictures, it just shows what the HP and the type is and the difference between a. Trainer support and an energy card, maybe, or what's good to go with it. 
Probably what's good to equip to the card actually, what it looks like from the picture. No idea, because I can't read a thing. And this is like some other advert for that. Anyway, this is just, you know, thing. So we got in, and what is this? A bomb? A rapidash? A fungus one? I can't remember what it's called. A gastrodon. And I have no idea what this is, but it's an item training card. It's like a green dice cube thingamabob. So yeah, so that's those are the Japanese cards from this pack. Yeah, you can tell I can't really open other languages. I suck at it really. Anyway, so that is that. Actually, yeah, that's it. That's all of the uh, things that came in here. So I'm just might as well show you this now. See, then that. I really like this one though, actually. The gummies are tasted really nice. Strawberry flavor, I believe I said. And obviously, another thing would be complete without one of those. Though it has a bit less items than the previous box, probably because all of it was imported. But I would have liked to see maybe a plush or some other small random things or just four items. But considering the notebook is pretty big. But anyway, so yes. All of that is this one and this for next time. So taste, stay tuned for this because this is coming in the post sometime because I already did buy that and I bought the September or will buy the September one. I get mixed up with the dates now. But the September one should be arriving on time. Hopefully. There's only these two that were having trouble. Anyway, so. I actually really do like these ones. I mean, what am I doing? These ones. It's got the uh, card and got the gummies. So very nice. And I also do like how these, how this Poke Block always produces like little sweets inside, which is very nice when you got the munchies. Something to look forward to when you're eating. So yes, so that is everything. So thank you for watching. I'd like to try for more. And I might as well say this before I forget. If you haven't subscribed to this subscription box, go check out the Pokeblock.co.uk. And it's got the one month, three month, and six months options, I believe. And the first month, if you haven't subscribed yet, if you enter the code first block would be number one S T capitals B L O C K you get what was it? Ten ten percent off first block? Well considering because it's six pounds hmm six pounds ninety five off because the total price is ten pound and the total price is sixteen ninety five so you get the six pound ninety five off. I threw the word it up at. Oh yes, here's some to show you. If you see, $16.95. That so this was my actual first Pokey Block subscription thing that I started on this site because I before you know I did it from the LME game site, but they moved it to the Pokey Block Dakota UK. So this I used the. Uh, discount code to get money off. So I only paid £10 for this box instead of the original 16 95 which I paid for the August and so on. So it is very good to, uh, whatchamacallit, to take advantage of the code. So I'll put that in the link or not link, but I'll type it in the description box below so you may see what I'm talking about. And obviously I'll link to the Pokeblock website as well. As with all my other videos, I always have a content spot from 
then I say the website anyway. So it, nothing really new in the format below. So anyway, so that is officially it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm like and subscribe for more. Over and out.